where we are at Toxnall Touring Park. Just walking down towards reception and that. We've had a nice afternoon here, it's been lovely and sunny, so I just thought we'd have a little walk around and show you what it's like. So if you want to see what it's like, go in and watch the video and we'll see you later on. Right, so we're at Toxon Hall Touring Park and Holiday Homes. This is your entrance, reception and toilet block, all in one place. Right near the entrance, arrivals lane. And once you're booked in, you just take the uh, get your barrier key and in you go. Like I say, once you've booked in, they'll let you through the barrier and you're already assigned a pitch anyway. We're on pitch 55. Right, this is your reception and your toilet blocks and that. So once you're through the barriers, it's an all one way system. Speed limit's 10 mile an hour, which is five mile an hour faster than uh, Caravan Club. Up to the right is the adults only area. And it's quite a full sight actually. As you can see, it stretches all the way down there. Got a service point there. And then it goes over to, uh, I think, statics and that over there. So we're just going up to the adult part now. So these are just... Uh, Awning pitches, standard awning pitches. We're on fully serviced. This is a circular road that goes round. We're just round here, straight ahead. So it's got quite a number of grass pitches as well. As you can see. This is the fully serviced awning pitches. One way road that comes up there and then you straight down there follow the two way road system. And here we are, back at the caravan. And Karen enjoying a glass of white wine. Good morning. Just have a walk to the toilet block. Well, we're positioned, it's quite uh, quite a distance to the toilet block. I think this is a two-way road that takes you around to the exit down there. I think there's only three service points on this uh, side. It's going to turn out a nice sunny day and we're going to go into uh, Shrewsbury today. So 
that's the nearest uh, service point to us. We've got to uh, chemical waste and everything. Rabbits are out this morning. <laughs> But this is a cut through that takes you down to the uh, reception and toilet block. It's, it's key entry, so you've got to take key with you every time. So if you forget, you've got to walk back. So here's reception and toilet block and the shop and that. That's your entrance. Six showers, six wash on basins, four sit down toilets, four urinals, which is quite small for the amount of uh, pictures on site, I think. Right, so you've got uh, a good information room. We'll take that out Shrewsbury Town map. Look at that today. Map of Bubble Shrewsbury. Lots of little uh, bits of information around the area. And all the different sites beyond there. So it has a little shop as well, selling all the uh, camping stuff as well. And you've got a little bit of a lake. As you see it stretches out nicely over there. So the uh, toilets are very clean. It's a fairly big site, like I said, it's 141 uh, pitches. But uh, it's a nice little head out, well groomed. It'll walk down to the pond. I don't know if it's fishing, it doesn't look like I can fish it, it just looks like it's a ornamental pond. Right, it's so looking like it's going to be a fairly nice day today, hopefully. Like I say, we're going to Shrewsbury. That's looking back up the site towards uh, reception and the toilet block. We've got quite a bit of hard standing around here. This is the family area down here. So there's quite a bit of hard standing down here. We'll walk on a bit more. Go to our side. Lots of little paths leading off. It's supposed to be like 
bit of grass area here with the uh, awning pictures. As far as it's gone quiet, it'll get busy today because it's Friday. So those must be the statics over there. I think they're all privately owned, I think those. So this is like uh, on the one way system road that goes round. So that must be the exit from the uh, static part of the site. And you've got a very small playground just with a slide and a few swings for children there. Got another service point here, which is about equal distance from where uh, we're pitched. And there's a service point over there, down where that gentleman is down there, if you can see him. rabbits were out this morning as well. So here we're going back up to the adult area. Like I said this is the fully serviced uh, picture area on this side. And here we are, back at the caravan. So we're all set up with the uh, hose. There's two drains, some shoes, the short claps there. And there's also your uh, stand with your electric and water you need a male to male hose adapter for that it's not a tap with a screw end it's a push in so you need a male to male adapter and turn your water on you've got another uh, drained out locker right so here's the uh, site plan we were let through reception, we come round the one way system here and we're on a fully serviced pitch on 59. As you can see up to the uh, left there we've got grass pitches. So grass pitches all the way around that area up there. More service pitches around that area. And like I say with the adults only stand in this area and that part is for uh, families etc. So we're an adult illness. It's a bit different to Caravan Club. You actually park your car on your own inside. We haven't got a zoning up, but that's where you park it. So you've got your caravan motor all morning and car. It's like you say, you're already uh, allocated a pitch. Once you've booked him, we have to pay the full amount before we turned up didn't we so uh, over the phone so we finished the last bit over the phone before we set off from Tewsbury and the total pictures is a hundred and forty one look at that so that's it right so it'll be like that little early morning walk around the side and uh, like I say, we're going into Shrewsbury today on the park and ride. It's a uh, £2 return for each person, so it's not even worth using fuel in car, is it? 
So we'll take it along to if he Shrewsbury if you want to uh, join us. Carry on and watch the next video. It'll be from Shrewsbury. So bye for now. Bye. See you later.